here is the problem. As reported by the Wall Street Journal, when he, I mean, it's, the reason the Afghans turned tail and ran is because they did not, their entire operational structure was built around American support. Quote from the Wall Street Journal, the Afghan army fighting alongside American troops was molded to match the way the Americans operate. The U.S. military, the world's most advanced, relies heavily on combining ground operations with air power, using aircraft to resupply outposts, strike targets, ferry the wounded, and collect reconnaissance and intelligence. In the wake of President Biden's withdrawal decision, the U.S. pulled its air support, intelligence, and contractors servicing Afghans' planes and helicopters. That meant the Afghan military simply could not operate anymore. In other words, the force stopped existing when the United States, which had built the entire force around U.S. support, withdrew the support. According to the Daily Beast, by the way, it goes even further than that. Quote, the country's mostly U.S.-provided air fleet was dependent on foreign contractors to assist with maintenance. As the U.S. withdrawal took hold, the Biden administration refused to allow contractors into the country to service the aircraft, effectively grounding some of the Afghan Air Force at the same time as the U.S. had withdrawn direct air support to Afghan forces. Afghan officials had hoped to draw back time with the beginning of winter could buy them more time to strengthen defense against the Taliban. The Biden administration ignored and pushed ahead with its own timeline. So just to get this straight, we told we didn't only remove our own Air Force from the place. We also refused to allow civilian contractors into the country to help the Afghans handle their own Air Force malfunction issues. The Afghans were literally on Zoom calls, pointing their laptops at the helicopters, being like, guys, can you help us? That's what Biden did. And then he's like, oh, yeah. And then they just they dissolved. I mean, they, they obviously didn't have the will. Or alternatively, you completely undercut their ability to fight. Alternatively, that. And by the way, negotiated continuously with the Taliban against the advice of the Afghan government. Now, Biden started lying about the Afghan government, too. He was like, well, you know, they just wouldn't cut a deal with the Taliban. What deal was there to be cut with the Taliban? I'm missing it. Was there a deal cut with the Taliban that looked real good over here? 